bhakti is a divine power it is such a power that if you receive it god becomes enslaved none of the other paths have the ability to enslave god and what happens in bhakti aham bhakta paradhino hya svatantra iv advij sadhu bhir grasta hridayo bhaktair bhakta jana priya in the bhagavatam lord krishna states that otherwise i am supremely independent but this magic wand of bhakti makes me dance just like the snake charmer makes the snake dance so he says my devotees have eaten my heart they have taken my heart what to speak of my devotees bhaktair bhakta jana priya even those who are the devotees of my devotees are so very dear to me that is why somebody who saw the divine past times of the supreme almighty under the sway of love said it seems to me that god has gone crazy god has gone crazy yes gopalangan kardame viharase vipradhware lajjase bruse gosuta hunkritai stuti padair maunam vidatse satam दास्यम गोकुल कामिनीषु कुरुषे स्वाम्यम न दत्तात्मसु जाने कृष्ण त्वदीय पाद युगलम प्रेमय कलभ्यम परम एवरीबॉडी इज सर्चिंग फॉर गॉड गोइंग फॉर चार धाम यात्रा एंगेजिंग इन डीप ऑस्टेरिटीज एंड इन ट्रिमेंडस लर्निंग एंड येट दे फाइंड neither the hands nor the feet of the lord and this devotee says my my the same god i found him playing in punk in the wet mud of the courtyard of nandan yashoda in other words from infinite universes in one universe within that on one planet earth in one bharatvarsh in that one district of mathura one gokul village and the house of nand baba his courtyard i found god playing and yashoda is saying stop but he doesn't listen he seems to have gone crazy to me and where big big scholars recite mantras vishnu rara tamasse vishnu shnaptre stho vishnu shurasi vishnu dhruvo shivai shnavamasi vishnave twa pandit ji says yajman says where is this vishnu pandit ji eh quiet you will see him but nobody sees him and where did you find that vishnu he is with the cows telling the calf the calf is doing hunk hunk shri krishna is telling the calf in the ear what is the matter you have not drunk your mother's milk go ahead and drink it and leave a little bit for me now isn't god crazy to do such things so how did this happen that was the power of bhakti or love that it enslaves the master of infinite universes and nothing else can do that hence narad ji says this is above and beyond the other means of god realization there is another sense to it as well you see through the other paths you cannot realize god in his personal form you can go close to him but not completely 
That is why in the Bhagavad Gita 18th chapter, Lord Krishna says, Brahma Bhuta Prasannat Mana Shochati Nakangshati Samah Sarveshu Bhuteshu. That Jnani Arjun becomes Brahma Bhut, situated in the self neither hankering nor lamenting, equally disposed towards everybody. Does anybody remember this verse from the Bhagavad Gita? So what is the last one-fourth line? Mad bhaktim labhate param From that state of jnan, the jnani then does bhakti. Now look, some people say bhakti is for those whose intellect is little less. You know, you people, you do bhajan. And I will only do niranjan jnana and surandran dhyan. But in the 18th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna is saying, from that state of atma jnana, he then engages in devotion. And the next verse is bhakti. Arjun, Shri Krishna says, It is by bhakti alone that you will realize me as I am standing before you in my personal form. So that supreme realization of God's personality happens through love. Now the others are great, but they don't enable the complete realization. Hence Naraji says that this bhakti is above and beyond the other spiritual practices. <laughs>